So for the final video, I'll be showing you how to report on the progress of your project um, using out-the-box Jira reporting gadgets. So I'll be showing you how to create a beautiful dashboard that will show the basic information on the progress of the project. Let's find out. So now we're going to talk about how can we create a beautiful dashboard for your active sprint. As you can see here, we have a different sprint, active sprint that I'm showing you for a different project that I have. And all the uh, active sprint has been organized by the assignee. So every person uh, there have got uh, their tickets under their swim lane. So it makes it very easy for for the daily stand-up to take place because you can just go through that. And I'm actually going to create a dashboard for that sprint or for this project and uh, we're going to cover things like uh, sprint health 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 for the active sprint right now uh, how much work have they completed and in terms of uh, what is to do what is to done we're going to show you how to create a pie chart and on the right hand side um, the actual sprint burn down how they're doing in terms of completing the work on time and on the, on the bottom i'll be showing you how to create this two-dimensional filter which shows you the people working on how many tickets they have in their swim lane, which are in progress to do or done. So this is what we're going to create as an overall uh, dashboard. And uh, to do that, we're going to start off by uh, creating the filter that has all the issues for your project. So under the filter, you're going to create the project equals to your project name, in this case, the Agile Teacher. And I do not want to see in the issue types epics because I only want to see stories, tasks, everything but epic. So you have to say issue type not equal to epic. And then you want to search and you see there are 31 issues in total. So on your dashboard, you can see that the whole display is based on 31 issues. So once you've done that, you want to go to your project again, click on dashboards and underneath you want to say create dashboard. You want to give a a useful name uh, for your dashboard so you can say your project name and the name of the dashboard so that everybody knows this is the one uh, that they should be looking at and uh, don't just call it dashboard because there'll be so many out there and the description you want to describe uh, the project itself and maybe the team who's involved and the access you have to you can give it to as a private or project uh, or a group but if you want to give it to your project make that as a project and then save when you get to the dashboard, it's a, it's a blank canvas. As a default, it gives you two column uh, canvas, but you can change that to make it at any number of rows you want, columns you want. So right now it's two, but if I click on that one, it gives you one big canvas, uh, or you can click on say two or even three. So it gives you three separate columns and you can put gadgets in each, three, in, in each of these columns, making it easier to display. To add a gadget, you click on add gadget, click on load all gadgets and the first gadget or the reporting we want to look at is you can scroll down or type in search is the sprint health uh, gadget so scroll down scrolling down you'll you need to wait get to that one which is this one here sprint health gadget say add gadget it automatically adds it to the to the canvas so once you've done that just say close Go to that, and there you can, it shows you the board name that you should be uh, that you're working on, and you can refresh every 15 minutes. But I don't do that; just say save, and straight away it only shows you the active sprint for that project. If the active sprint is not there, it won't show. The next gadget we want to look at is the pie chart, which will show you all the different issues in their relevant uh, status. So there you do that, and again it's gone on the top and you want to basically rearrange these gadgets and you can do that by just simply uh, dragging it uh, to any location you want. So in this case, I want the health, uh, health for the sprint to be top, so move that there and for the pie chart in there. So to do that, you need to click on advanced search and go and, and select the filter that you created previously uh, as the as a source of information or the data and leave everything as is and uh, you can make it every 50 minute update like i said i don't do that if you click on save um it will it will pull up pull all the uh, filter that we have done the 31 issues into this pie chart so once you've done that, you just want to you want to basically uh, save that, and it will show you the pie uh, with all the status uh, for every issue type. 
this is a great way of seeing what is in progress and uh, and who's working on what. And you can change the assignee to status, etc. So the filter is pretty pretty kind of a uh, uh, flexible in that in that regard. The next gadget we want to look at is the um, the the burn down chart, the spin burn down chart. So as you click on that, again it goes in the top left. You're going to drag it across to the other column. And here you want to select the right board. Uh, make sure that's the one. In this case, it's the HTS board. And uh, it's always going to show you the burn down chart uh, for that sprint. So if you say save, it gives you the burn down chart. You can see uh, for the active sprint, you can see how the team is doing in terms of their progress based on the burn down chart. And the next one we want to look, look at a gadget is the two dimensional kind of table matrix that will show you uh, the person who is working on it and the number of tickets and what status those tickets are. So you want to select the two dimensional filter statistics. Again, add, which goes in the top left. You want to drag that to the bottom of that. And you just need to select the filter. Again, the one we created earlier. Let's click on that. And then you got the options for the X and the Y axis. Um, so we're going to have the X as the um, assignee and the Y, uh, we're going to make that uh, into status. So it's assignee versus status. And we're going to save that. So that gives you the kind of a matrix table view of all the 31 issues. That gives the top gives you the burn down, and then this the pie chart shows you the uh, kind of colorful status of that and the and the actual active spin. So this is a very good way of showing f to the management to anybody about the progress of your project. Again, you have other options to to report your projects on. If you go back to the pro to the backlog under reports. Um, you've got all these different reports available. Uh, if I look at the uh, sprint report, that just shows you again the burn down of the stories in that sprint. And you've seen this before in the other video, but if you if you select um, the after drop down, you can select any any sprint that has completed. You can always click click on that, and it'll show you the actual status of that sprint in terms of how many stories were completed and how many went. The other useful is the velocity chart, i.e., how many stories they said the team said they're going to take on and how many they completed. A very good report to look at as well. Well, that's the end of the series on this uh, topic on how to install Jira and setting up your Scrum board for the first time. I hope you find it useful. Um, just to summarize, we covered uh, setting up a project within Jira. Uh, we also talked about creating the high-level releases or versions and epics. Underneath that, we created uh, stories and tasks, and we prepared the sprint in terms of refinement and estimation, assigning to the uh, Scrum team, and then we started the sprint. While following, once the sprint was started, we talked about how to complete that sprint, and final video we talked about how do you dem how do you show uh, the status of the project by creating a simple dashboard in Jira using the out the box uh, report functionalities that Jira provides, and overall. Uh, it, it gives a very high level of view for the management to see the progress of the project. And if you want to see more information and get more knowledge uh, in terms of Scrum and Agile project delivery, visit howtoscrum.com. And uh, there you'll find some really useful videos on other topics in, on Scrum, Agile, as well as there are some uh, ready to go download downloadable templates to use, like Scrum Status Report, for example. And there are blogs that cover many topics under Scrum and Agile project delivery. And there are courses which are free and also paid for uh, that, are, that cover Scrum basics and, uh, and how to be an effective Scrum master. So I hope you enjoy this series and, uh, and I look forward to seeing you again on a different topic in Agile.